Hi viewers, welcome to Healy Virtual. Thank you for watching. So today's topic is there is no topic, <laughs> okay? Mystery reading. So even I don't know what is the topic, what kind of messages are going to come. I don't have any idea. That's why it is like a mystery reading. There is no question, nothing. There is no topic, no question, no so and so messages from someone. So it is like completely mystery whoever choosing for them also maybe messages whatever you are going to receive it can be out of anything okay so it's a pick up pile reading you need to choose one pile whichever you are drawn towards but i think one pile is enough because we are doing mystery reading and we don't know what kind of messages you are going to receive so it is better to watch only one pile okay if at all you think that genuinely drawn towards multiple piles then you watch multiple piles as i always say take some time between the piles don't watch continuously okay let that energy is clear so then go move to the next pile okay so let's get into the reading pile number one who choose white pile so white pile it is a mystery reading pile number one whoever choose the messages are completely mysterious messages i cannot say about what it will come so let's see so pile number one here the zodiac sign star card in the reverse who is star aquarius nine of pentacle capricorn sorry virgo so aquarius virgo i connect with dolphin wisdom third eye which justice is coming Mm. so pile number one whoever choose this pile this is uh, like some kind of karma okay so karma reading it is not about someone's karma it is about like uh, i will tell the messages like take the messages i think here it is completely independent cards nine of pentacle also like single independent star card also like independent card okay like single independent card so here the karma whatever it is about you okay so mystery reading <laughs> so here for you it came out like a karma reading because we got justice is coming which card so here uh, i did not expected that it is going to trigger you but listen to me carefully if at all that completely messages are matching with you then only take it if at all it is not matching with you uh, means whatever karma whatever i am going to explain if at all it is not matching with you then it may be someone in your life okay take the messages based on the energies so here the thing is either you may be which or someone in your life may be which that's why i said take the messages as it resonates okay so this person did something some witchcraft happened in this situation okay in this situation in your life in your situation either you maybe did some witchcraft on someone or someone maybe did witchcraft on you the witchcraft is like beauty spells okay they did some beauty spells to ruin your beauty or to affect your beauty affect your appearance because you may be like a star person you may be very attractive people may be want you desire to you so at least to people around you used to see like a star you may be very attractive no matter whether you may be men or women very attractive personality you carry or the energy whatever you carry it may be very high vibrational energy that is also one reason people used to feel some kind of healing attraction towards you and they want they used to desire you because the star card itself like everyone desires you everyone want that person in their life okay so here mostly i am getting because nine of pentacles also supporting that you may be very abundant privileged person very beautiful or handsome person maybe appearance wise also appearance wise also you may be very attractive handsome or beautiful women or men but someone did some witchcraft on you take the messages again i am telling because here either you may be did some witchcraft on someone or someone may be did some witchcraft on you the reason why i am telling you may be did something because justice is coming 
so whatever they did or whatever witchcraft happened it is like a, if now the period is like written to the sender if at all you are the one who did see you know that right if at all you did some witchcraft you know that here it is not that unknowingly you did it because which card we got so even whoever watching panel number one if at all you are the witch then i no need to tell that you know what you did what you did not done if at all you are not a witch then someone in your life who is like a witch they did some beauty spells on you to ruin your beauty or ruin your attraction or whatever people may be you are like a desiring personality you have so they want to make you ugly or they want to bring some kind of like uh, pimples or some kind of skin issues so that uh, are at least to weight gain so that people sh should not feel very attractive you should not carry that attractive personality uh, pleasing personality or this privileged life i think this person is completely jealous of you because here the energy itself is like out of jealousy this person whoever this did that witchcraft they felt that someone is very beautiful someone is very young energetic attractive so many people desire them and moreover they are single independent nine of pentacle very privileged single independent abundant whatever they want they already have everything or at least they can pay their own bills they are not dependent on anyone they won't go because here the star card is there they can use their beauty and earn the money but here this person is completely single and independent so uh, out of jealousy pure out of jealousy some witch did some beauty spells on that star person whoever that attractive person here i'm strongly getting you did some witchcraft on that person if at all it is not take the messages vice versa okay now the justice is coming whatever that witchcraft done in the past now it is written to the sender either that person maybe did something more than did something maybe it is from the universe written to the sender happen or they maybe did something i cannot say but here i am not saying this person is a witch one person is witch who did witchcraft on that independent person single person abundant person privileged person maybe it happened like a return to the sender and now whoever that witch they lost their beauty or they are losing their beauty they are unable to come out they are unable to show people it is it is like uh, they are losing everything whatever they which craft they did on one innocent innocent i can say or whatever you no need to do such kind of beauty spells right if at all you want to become beautiful why can't you do that beauty spells to become more beautiful instead of wasting energy to ruin someone else's beauty you can do for use that energy for yourself to become more beautiful nothing wrong in that you will look more beautiful you will get that energy but here someone misused that energy because of that misused that energy the karma is coming that karma is nothing but that person completely became ugly i cannot say it is like again judging the people <laughs> so it is whatever they did especially here i am getting strong message like ruining their beauty they want to ruin their beauty they want to ruin that personality so so that people cannot desire them people cannot want them things like you know like some even i see some beauty industry modeling industry they will tell that it happened they did something so something here happened to make them look ugly but it is reversed now i cannot i don't know whether it is affected that person or not but whoever did that which now that which got affected by this beauty spells because of that reversal of that beauty spells i think this person is very intuitive whomever uh, on whomever this witchcraft has like beauty spells done that person is very intuitive maybe that person already knows that this star person knows that someone did beauty spells on them that is a person knows that someone did witchcraft on them be, uh, beauty spells on them so maybe that person said return to the sender so now whoever that witch they lost all the beauty because star in the reverse people not feeling attracted towards them people don't desiring them people don't want them <laughs> people don't even feeling that that person is attractive anymore they lost that beauty 
the lost they lost that vibration they lost that desirable personality whatever they used to carry it is just because of that karma whatever you they did that which did it returned to the sender so if at all you are the star person you are a very intuitive person then someone did witchcraft and you you no need to worry because you already know maybe you already know if at all you are intuitive you know that someone did witchcraft on you by doing that beauty spells but it not affected you moreover it returned to the sender if at all you did any kind of return to the sender reversal spells then it went to the person that witch and it affected them now that person lost their beauty and you are still like nine of pentacle you did not lost anything that's why i'm telling it is like your energy is still same that person also may be single that person also sing, single abundant uh, maybe it is like somewhere they felt jealousy it is pu- it happened purely out of jealousy because one person is very beautiful independent they don't depend on anyone they don't want anyone actually moreover most more most of the people desiring them most of the people want them so it is just purely out of jealousy which this beauty spells done but it, uh, it is like written to the sender now that which whoever did that witchcraft now they are facing the consequences of their actions that's it it is their own consequences of their actions their own actions at all they are a witch they hold some kind of abilities uh, they can use it to m- become more beautiful nothing wrong instead of using those abilities to ruin someone else's beauty as i said in the initially so here mysterious right <laughs> even i did not expected this kind of messages i love this reading so pile number 1 whoever watching if someone is did witchcraft on you because you are intuitive person you know that so it happened reversal happened whether you did it the, you did that reversal or from the universe it went that person already lost everything that star kind of energy they lost now they are facing the consequences are their own uh, actions uh, getting karma that's it they are getting their own karma so let's move on to pile number 2 who choose yellow pile yellow <laughs> pile so yellow pile here the zodiac signs nine of wands who is nine of wands saji three of swords libra i am the gold and silver violet flame so the world awaits you morning clinging card number 4 4 four is very important who you are watching pile number 2 so here i cannot say what kind of messages you are going to get it is a mystery reading so anyway it is meant to reach you the messages so here messages for you is actually someone in your life uh, you may be already dealt with them who already kept you in the third party like three of swords we got and uh, nine of wands we got and you are no more trusting that person you hold lot of trust issues towards that person because they already broke your heart and now you are you may be wondering why this person not accepted your love or why this person kept you in the third party what is wrong with you actually the thing is nothing wrong with you okay it is nothing to do with you you may be a wonderful person by number 2 whoever watching if at all whatever situation i explained if at all it is matching with you then this messages are meant for you okay the thing is here someone kept you in the third party okay they broke your heart by keeping you in the third party now you scared of that person at least you scared of open up yourself to that person you are not trusting that person you don't care any kind of trust on that person you lost all the trust on that person and you may be thinking that why it happened why this person kept me in the third party what's wrong with me is the is there anything i need to change anything i need to improve anything i lack that that is the reason why this person wants someone else that is the reason why this person kept me in the third third party that is the reason why this person choose someone over you the thing is nothing to do with you 
okay whatever situation happened whatever third party happened here nothing to do with you you may be the wonderful person as i said the problem is that person that person holds some four of pentacle energy this is the world awaits you comfort zone issues this person loves their comfort zone they don't know how to come out of their comfort zone or at least this person resists the change they just want one kind of routine waking up in the morning have like uh, dress up having breakfast doing their daily activities again going to the sleep again in the morning waking up again break having breakfast lunch dinner doing their work sleeping same routine i hope you are understanding so that person is like that maybe you don't know that okay if at all you know also you may be still somewhere thinking that why this person kept me in the third party maybe you are in your self esteem self confidence may be affected because of that third party situation somewhere you may be lost that confidence on yourself or you may be feeling some self worth issues because someone kept you in the third party so by thinking that what is wrong with you what you what you don't have and what that third party had the only thing is not it is nothing to do with third party it is nothing to do with you it is everything is with that person whoever kept you in the third party as i said they lack comfort zone so whatever the third party may be that third party is already may be comfort zone <laughs> you may be new to them that is also one reason they don't want to go into the new thing or they don't want to take that new thing they don't want to take that risk more than anything here i'm getting they don't want to take the risk maybe to have you in their life they may be desiring you they may be love you but when to have you they need to take some risk nothing can come easily everything comes with some price tag right so here if at all this person want you they need to take some kind of risk and this person is not a risk taker they uh, they love their comfort zone they are okay with wherever they are whatever they had that is also one reason maybe when it comes to when time comes to choose you or the other per third party whatever it may be third party okay here i'm not telling third party is other person that can be their job that can be their location that can be their so and so things okay so when they are, when the time came to choose you are that third party this person already feeling comfortable with something they already have you may be the new person for them new thing for them new situation for them and this person nature is like you know it or not they are like they hold that comfort zone issues they are very clingy towards their comfort zone they don't want to change they resist the change so they don't want to take the risk that is the reason why they simply settled with that whatever third party it is so you felt that why this person choose someone over you or something over you obviously as a human be human psychology when people get into that third party situations that's why i always say don't put yourself in third party don't give someone else to choose you you should not become anyone's choice anyone's option okay you should decide for yourself the moment you know that someone is trying to keep you in the third party you should remove yourself from there because you are not a you are not the person who should become someone's option or choice okay you hold your worth maybe that time you gave them a chance whether you want this or that and that person went to that and you may be lost some kind of carrying some kind of still the trust issues insecurities but the thing release those things because this person themselves have problems as i said they are not a risk taker so whatever is comfortable they are okay with that comfortable even though they don't like it they are okay because it became comfort zone for them and they don't like change okay that is the reason why it third party happened or they they broke your heart how they broke by choosing someone else over you now you may be carrying lot of trust issues if you fed on you are the one who is carrying trust issues still release those things because everyone is not like that just see the situations understand the situations whatever happened in your life take those things as a experience instead of 
taking them as a fear fearful experiences and uh, uh, building some kind of strong boundaries so that you should not enjoy your life or at least to becoming like a warrior where you are ready to fight or where you are ready to protect yourself you no need to live in that kind of energy you can live your life freely so here it is like a nine of wands if it are you are still living like a, in that warrior energy like no that person kept me in the third party i don't know i'm not going to trust anyone even this person also comes back also i don't trust even someone else comes also i don't trust because everyone will be like this already they broke my heart i have already broken heart so i don't want to entertain anyone we are living a life we are experiencing the life take it in that way instead of keeping them as a fears insecurities because here you are holding lot of trust issues release those trust issues open yourself to experience the life keep this lesson this this experience as a lesson so that in future you should not let anyone to keep you in that options so this is your message if at all you are still feeling because you hold great energy because here i am seeing i am the gold and silver violet flame you can transform everything you can transform your pain into fuel you have that transformative energy see this powerful light transmute the old and raises everything to a very high frequency that's why i'm telling maybe you have that power you may be not understanding because of this heartbreak because of whatever happened you still carrying that fears out of the trust issues fears you are not understanding your own worth our own power more than worth it is like a power what you can do you can transmute you this pain this fears into fuel fuel here you have a great transformation power so release those things leave the situation because it is nothing to do with you why you are sometimes it happens when we don't know and moreover people who carry that insecurity fears what they will do instead of sitting coming directly explaining why they are behaving such a way they won't do that because they feel that the pride that ego will come so they won't tell they won't explain everything clearly instead of doing that they will simply project all those insecurities on others or simply they will choose something and they will make you feel like you are not worthy that is the reason why they choose something actually they are the not worthy of us they are not worthy of our energy they are not worthy of our love they are not worthy of our relationship we should know our worth until unless we don't know our power people will play like that especially that insecure people will play like that because they they don't know how to handle their insecurities they throw that insecurities on others or at least they will choose something else and when you cry they feel very happy they feel secure they feel very confident because a little bit of the some kind of narcissistic behavior here you think that ah something is wrong with me that is the reason why this person did not choose you actually problem is you should not keep yourself in someone's options you should say fuck off beautiful world <laughs> so don't worry transmute your pain into power transform yourself you no need to live like nine of wands you no need to run away from the love run away from the people loving caring people world is full of everyone filled with everyone okay so if someone is did something to you someone broke your heart it doesn't mean that everyone is going to do that it is experiences that's why i said we should carry that experience as a lesson so that in next time when you are dealing with someone what you should entertain what you should not entertain okay come out of it transform your pain into fuel okay so let's move on to pile number 2 uh, 3 sorry 3 who chose red pile so pile number 3 here the zodiac sign temperance who is temperance saji wow what a cards one is balance one is completely imbalance six of pentacles in the rivers libra taurus i stand in my power and lead others forward 51 six again confidence it comes with time and practice so pile number 3 whoever choose this pile 
mystery messages we don't know what is the topic and all we just get the messages whatever comes match the energies if at all that energy is matching with you then messages is for you okay this messages are meant for you so here for you messages are you need to bring the balance i can understand it is very difficult for them or at least you are feeling that i am unable to do it i am trying my best it is not happening i am unable to bring the balance in my life you lost the balance when you are watching this reading maybe you already lost the balance not in the not just in the financial sense materialistically you even maybe lost in the i think here you need some kind of healing because here i am seeing maybe emotionally also you may be lost that balance within yourself okay six of pentacle is like materialistically you may be going through some kind of rough patch or difficult times but here we got temperance where it is like you need to bring that uh, emotional balance and we got here it comes with time and practice confidence you lack that confidence in your life so it is not just about the external things it is about within yourself also so pile number 3 whoever watching whoever choose red pile i can understand but don't give up because everything here this card itself is telling okay you need to stand in your power instead of understand uh, instead of taking support of someone because i think here you need to become leader to yourself uh, forget about le becoming leader to others okay i stand in my power and lead others forward in your case forget about others you need to become leader to yourself because i think here you may be completely depend on someone that someone can be anyone your parent your in work area your boss but here i am seeing all the areas of your life it is like emotional logical both the areas of your life you lost the balance so it is like someone in your life whom you completely depend whatever that person says you may be doing you are not taking your own decisions or at least what you don't know what is right for you what is wrong for you if someone is telling you do this this is good for you you are doing or at least if at all you want to do something also you may be going to that person and asking whether i want to do this whether it is good to do uh, do it or not if that person is telling okay do it then only you are doing if that person is telling no you no need to do that you may be leaving so here you may be completely depend on someone here i am not seeing that independent energy that is the reason why you lost the balance because we know better than anyone we know what we are we say that our parents know know us better than us because they from birth but the thing is what within us only we can know until unless we won't share with anyone no one can know what is happening in your mind what is there in your heart that is the reason why only we know what is good for us what is not good for us but simply mostly what we do from the childhood we may be get habituated to listen to someone so same thing will happen even when we become 40 50 also we will go to someone that may be that someone may be our father husband or simply someone elder in our family or elder in our friend circle or elder in our work area because we think that that person hold more experience so better to ask that person i can understand i am not telling we should not ask we should not go for the advice suggestion okay but we should hold our own opinion right it is not that i am not telling you should not go to anyone you should not ask any opinion suggestion you can go you can take uh, 10 suggestions from diff 10 different people nothing wrong in that okay 10 advice from 10 different people but in the end what you want that is very important what the 10 people want that is a different what you want that is very important here you lack that what you want you lack that knowledge about yourself why you lack that knowledge you don't listen to yourself that's why i said you don't listen to yourself you listen to everyone if neighbor says that you are looking good in this saree you are looking good in this dress you think that the dress is looking good so whenever your special occasion is there you want to wear that dress because someone said that it is looking good what about you is it really you are feeling comfortable in that dress 
is it really you are feeling happy when you are wearing that dress you are feeling happy content satisfied when you are wearing that dress forget about how people are what people are telling that is lacking in your life you don't listen to yourself it is not that again someone is controlling here i am not seeing that controlling energy simply you give that power you give that power to everyone uh, not just one person maybe it is like you are living the you are leading your life like in that way if someone as simple as if society is telling that women should be like that men should be like this you are simply following it you are not even giving importance what you want society is telling that simply women should get married in twenties i will get married after marriage women should get kids i am getting kids because society want it what do you want it no idea because you are not giving importance to yourself that intuition what exactly you want the reason here i am seeing why you are not giving importance to yourself is you think somewhere in your brain or someone may be trained you such a way that if you listen to someone that is the best for you if you do it by yourself you may be going to do some mistakes or something is wrong going to happen or you are going to fail in that thing so some kind of fear somewhere you are holding some kind of fear said okay i like it people are not accepting it but still i want to do it because i love it i want to do this this is my wish this is my desire you are not going to you are not in that energy you are feeling like okay if at all i want to do it if i failed what will happen same people will tell that we already told you you should not do it what do you did it you pay fail now okay if you fail nothing wrong you will earn the experience you will learn from your own experiences why can't you give that chance to yourself so it is you need to bring that balance within yourself okay if at all financially any kind of problems is there you will get the help the moment you learn how to be independent okay until unless you want to become independent you are not going to get any kind of help here i am not telling that here it is like a curse or negative way what is that self dependent then someone come and help you again you will be in the same energy like codependent energy it will become same dependent codependent person that's not the right thing today whatever your situation is it is just to because you need to learn some beautiful lessons you need to become independent you need to take your own decisions instead of getting someone's opinions judgment or uh, suggestions advices from someone no matter how difficult it is i can understand that's why this card also telling it comes with time and practice you should practice it first of all instead of afraid of a uh, failure afraid of or something is going if, if something wrong happened everyone is going to tell this and that do it you will learn from it take it as a, if at all you fail take it as experience lesson if you get successful you become inspiration to someone that's it but when you are going to do that once you listen if at all you are listening to everyone your life will be your life will be like someone is leading your life you are not living your life why you are giving that chance to someone here you may be struggling a lot to get that balance in your life i can understand you need some kind of healing temperance card itself is like a healing is needed that healing is maybe you carry some kind of uh, self worth issues more than anything it is like a confidence self confidence self worth issues self esteem issues like maybe in your childhood or the way when you are growing up someone may be told that you cannot do this you cannot do that uh, you don't have that much talent to get that uh, so something maybe someone continuously when someone is telling knowingly or unknowingly our brain will believe that it will also believe that yes maybe i cannot do that that's why we should never entertain such kind of people around us so in your case happened is happened now it is your turn to fix that shit okay whatever problem now it is your turn to fix it how you can fix it by practicing it no matter what kind of from morning early morning when you wake up from that time to till sleeping whatever you are doing do it by yourself 
instead of asking someone what is the breakfast what should, what we should cook for the breakfast wash i should prepare for wash what i should take for the dinner lunch don't ask at least after watching this reading practice start practicing by taking your own decision i'm not telling big big decisions because it will as i said it need time but small decisions you can take small small things as i said if at all every day we are asking someone to what breakfast should be don't ask decide what you want small small things Th- that's how you are going to improve your confidence once you see the result slowly 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 will increase that internally you get that confidence to do certain things take some actions without asking someone you will gain that confidence but if you don't practice again you will be in the same position so here some some healing is needed for you to know that self confidence self esteem courage internal things it is not external this is finances the the moment you heal that internal things your finances will be fixed i hope you are understanding okay until unless you won't heal your internal things you are not going to come out of this six, five of pentacle maybe you are now in a four of pentacle or five of pentacle you know okay but it is not balance so you know now maybe four of pentacle you may be having because we got this confidence card who is lacking that self confidence the four of pentacle also having so many insecurities fears or five of pentacle take the messages based on your situation until unless you won't heal the more you heal from within the more your outside problems will be fixed your finances your relationships your friend circle whatever your career whatever it may be external things the more you heal from the within the externally you will see the change better way better change it will become better but you won't heal within yourself this things never going to change so you are watching if at all you are trying to fix this outside thing instead of fixing within yourself take the messages first try to fix within okay first try to gain that confident as i said practice small small things like don't ask for the suggestions opinions or don't ask what i should eat where should i go or should i not go stop asking permissions and all do it by yourself little little things slowly you will gain the confidence okay so let's move on to pile number 4 who choose green pile green pile so green pile whoever choose green pile here the zodiac sign queen of wands leo aries leo three of wands again aries kutumi i am open to learning and teaching lord kutumi a world teacher phoenix how is that for a happy ever after so finally your happy ever after is coming <laughs> so you may be reached finally you may be reached to that uh, that level where it is like it is maybe you have gone through a lot because we got phoenix and it is like a teacher card so here you may be already gone through a lot whatever you gone through out of all those things you raised from the phoenix and you became like a queen of wands very seductive passionate fiery professional queen okay courageous lot of courage confident creative feminine energy no matter whether you are a man or a woman okay you became that feminine energy fiery feminine so it is like a phoenix from that raised from the from that ashes you become a fire maybe that fire came to burn you but instead of getting burned in that fire you became the fire it's a great reading for pile number 4 who are watching so here one way it is like you you received or uh, you got that stability even though it is a queen of wands three of wands everything is like uh, fiery cards like passionate cards action oriented cards but here you choose green if at all you are still feeling somewhere you are not getting that stability then don't worry because your happily ever after is near 
or it is already came because you are like queen of hands so here three of hands is there here someone is someone may be waiting for you because here i am not seeing this is your energy even though it is fiery personality but i think that person is coming towards you because we are we got three of hands and you already hold one one when this completely become four of hands and it is a green card so you are getting and we we got the message as so how is that for a happily ever after so finally you are receiving your queen of king of hands so you both are getting into that union i hope you are understanding okay so you, no matter what i can understand you because it is not easy that it is not that easy to coming out of uh, like rising from that phoenix so you may be already gone through a lot but in that uh, struggle you became queen of hands maybe you did not expected but finally that whatever fire whatever happened whatever obstacle challenges you may be faced all those mold you into a beautiful fiery passionate queen are feminine okay so that is also one reason finally you reach your goals or one way it is like oh, the universe throws some challenges to you you proved are you kim distinction <laughs> you got distinction in that challenges and now universe is blessing you with that king of hands here it is not this person is still waiting maybe they are waiting for the right time more than anything here i am seeing right time because how is that for a happily ever after so here you already got and uh, this person more than anything it is i'm not seeing third party if at all this person having the third party also the third party is nothing but the right timing okay it is not about someone something it is about the right timing so this person already waiting for you uh, like they want to come towards you or you need to come towards them but they want that four of wands with you that beautiful new beginning passionate new beginning with you okay maybe you already know this person because this at least this person is this person also like you like very fiery passionate very ambitious goal oriented and this person is very patient very patience and this person may be set some long term goals it is not like a short term they may be set some strategies some three years goal five years goals that kind of personality it is not that next month i am going to get it next to six after three months i am this person carry that long bigger picture or long view so they may be have that plans for the next three years what they want to do next five years after five years what they want to become after 10 years where they want to be so that kind of person but at the same time this person have lot of patience to wait and uh, uh, get that goals okay it is not impatient person that is the reason i said i explained that long term goals who will keep long term goals who are patient and who are impatient they will be like, no, no, no 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 next month only next three months only six months only they won't think about the three years six years 10 years okay but this person is very patient person even though this person is a king of hands or not maybe they are emperor maybe they are king of pentacles wand is there okay this person also very passionate that's why in the initial i said maybe it is like a king of hands so now you are like a queen of hands so you both are coming into that four of hands so if at all you are not here i'm getting maybe still you are somewhere you are feeling like when i am going to get stability maybe that union uh, getting into union with someone that marriage kind of energy then it is near or you already it is like everything is happened maybe universe already set everything it is just the time it is just about the time the divine timing one way okay and here lord kutumi i am open to learning and teaching so here you may be already whatever you gone through in your life you may be already became some kind of teacher or some kind of uh, uh, coach where you may be like me you are explaining everything how to deal with the people how to deal with the situation how to behave in certain situations so because of your experiences okay it is not that you may be well educated have professional degree more than that uh, it is like you already gone through some phoenix movement so here uh, uh, whatever you gone through from that to from you became queen of hands so that journey that experience now you are in a position to teach people tell people how to do how to act how should not act so if at all you are not started 
for you the suggestion is open up about your uh, story because if at all you share your story so many people who are going through same kind of situation they will get help instead of keeping that story with you by thinking that anyway i already had challenges as i came overcame i became kind of and so i no need to talk about it oh, it's okay i can understand because most of the people they don't want to talk about the problems whatever they gone through but it is the difference is see when you sit and talk about the problems see i gone through this i gone through there is a difference how you are talking about your problems so now you are in a positions where you can explain that yes this is what happened and this is how we can overcome that thing this kind of situations this is how we can behave this is how we can act this is how we can react this is how we can make the decision share that experience with people people around you so that they can also get help from you or your experience because it is natural we are human beings everyone will go through all that thing or this thing so somewhere your life experience will help someone to come out of their life experience or their problems their challenges they are going to learn how to overcome those challenges okay because here it is very important i for you the suggestion you need to be not learning and teaching here i am seeing maybe you are ready to learn because you are in a queen of wands energy that is very passionate fiery action oriented queen you may be ready for the new things i can understand but at the same time teaching also you should be in a position to teach or at least to share your experience to others so that they can learn they can uh oh yeah one way it is like learn how to overcome those challenges okay and don't worry about the stability as i said if at all you are worrying about the stability no need to worry uh you already got the stability <laughs> okay you already got the stability don't doubt yourself because you are now pin of wands so let's move on to pile number 5 who chose blue pile So, pile number five. Whoever chooses blue pile, see this is a mystery reading. So, we don't know what is going to happen. What is mess? What messages are coming? What about what topic and all? We don't have any kind of idea. Just see the energies. If you think that the energies are matching with you, then these messages are meant for you. Okay. So, here the zodiac signs, wheel of fortune. All the zodiac signs, but the most dominated are Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, Five of Wands in the reverse. who is five of wands leo so double leo i visit the intergalactic council today treat your body like the palace it is who is that who is feeling insecure about uh, your body because nowadays i am getting this card a lot you need to accept darling no matter how you are what you are so here the message is mystery messages okay first thing come out of the competition because five of hands in the reverse you may be keeping yourself in some kind of competition when i am telling competition either it doesn't mean that some uh, sports are happening you are getting into that sports and you want to play and you want to win it as simple as you yourself somewhere comparing yourself to someone and looking at them and telling that that person is looking good that person have long hair that person has white skin that person has so and so thing i don't have so somewhere it is nothing but comparing yourself is nothing but knowingly or unknowingly you are competing with someone everyone is unique you may be hold your own uniqueness instead of embracing that uniqueness you are simply trying to become like someone are you simply trying to compare your uniqueness to someone uniqueness <laughs> how it is going to happen even though it is a custard apple apple there is a apple in in two fruits but custard apple is completely different apple is completely different we cannot compare those two things two fruits even though they would both have apple <laughs> has their names right so in your case also first thing what you need to do is come out of that competition no matter what kind of competition you know that 
okay here you know that here you need to take your help of higher self i visit in uh, i visit the intergalactic council today you are not listening to yourself you need to listen to your intuition you may be that's why i always say see when we put ourselves in the competition and all these all are low vibrational things that jealousy gossip rumors and a competition comparing or uh, always comparing ourselves to someone these all are low vibrational things see it is like uh, we are the one who is uh, degrading our vibration so you are doing that so here the strong suggestion is if at all you want to take time under river control you want to take your life under river control will of fortune we have here the will of fortune is nothing but you can take whatever you want to do you can write your own story you have free will in this whatever situation you are do- dealing in this situation you have free will simple as i said competition you want to compete someone you want to morning in the wake up watch their pictures watch their videos watch them and tell them what is there for you what is not there for them what is matching what is not matching what is great about you what is not great about you you can do it from morning to night till sleeping in dreams also you can dream that thing okay <laughs> it is your choice one other choice is there wake up do your things appreciate whatever you have feel happy content whatever you have whatever whomever you may be accept yourself completely this is other choice so what do you want to choose you have free will what to choose here no one is compelling or insisting you to choose only this thing it is free choice will of fortune you have free will in this whatever you are doing it is completely depends on you here no one is telling you to know you should do this thing because it is internally happening it is not job that someone is giving some position and telling you to work in that time also we can reject that job because when we are not interested in some position they don't have any right to insist or compel us to do that job here it is within ha- within you it is happening you are simply comp- it is like maybe you don't hold control over your brain and your brain may be again and again going to that person and telling that see that person they wear this pink color that pink color is looking great on that person when you wear that pink color you won't look good why you are training your brain in that way <laughs> so it is completely your choice pile number 5 whoever choose first come come out of this competition come out of this competition you will be grounded once you come out of this competition you will be grounded this wheel of fortune will be in your hand that is nothing but you can decide what you want to do in your life instead of wasting time to compare someone to compare to someone and putting yourself in the competition you need to listen to yourself instead of listening to your logical brain that's why i said maybe you trained already your brain that it is already maybe trained competing comparing yourself to someone it will happen when you are continuously doing your brain will train to that that way and even though you don't want to do that your brain will do it treat your body like the palace it is maybe here so much insecure you are feeling that is also one reason you are simply comparing yourself to someone or competing trying to become like that you want to become like that person the reason because you want you you are feeling lot of insecure because that person may be doing good you are not, you may be not doing actually you will also do good when you will do good when you whatever you feel passionate if you pursue those things you will do better not just good maybe that other person may be pursuing their passion that's why they are doing very good or better you pursue your passion you will do better but instead of doing that you simply want to compete with them whatever they are doing i want to do it if they wear pink color i also want to wear pink color if they wear white even i want to wear white i'm not telling you don't do, you no need to wear white or pink you can also wear but it, it should be by your choice it is not that someone wore that dress i want to prove that if at all i wear that dress how i look i look more beautiful than them why you are comparing everyone hold different style uniqueness that's it no one can compare even though you are a twin if you have you born as a twin also both two twins identical twins also hold different natures attitudes 
that's why you should never compare here lot of comparison competition because of that you may be already lost that your mental mental peace and uh, somewhere it all became like insecurities because see when you when you compare when you compete what will happen slowly it will build insecurity because every day you are comparing every day you are competing but every day that person is beating actually no one is beating you the only mistake what you are doing is instead of pursuing your passion you are started pursuing that person passion <laughs> as i explained recently if someone is drawing painting beautifully if i i want to do same painting i cannot do it if 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 i want to talk about the psychic things this predictions i can do i can read people like a book that painter cannot do that but at the same time i cannot paint that painter can draw the beautiful picture within a second so i cannot do that i don't even know how to hold the brush if i started to co- compare with that painter compete with that painter no 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 i will also paint it what i will it will happen next one day two day three days after one month i will whole lot of insecurity fears because every day they are that painter is beating me because that painter painting better i am not painting better i know <laughs> what i can do what i don't i cannot do you should understand here i am not telling that i never become a painter if i tell i get that interest if i give that time efforts maybe i will become but i am not interested why should i give uh, time effort to something which i am not interested just because i want to compete with someone i don't need to do that i will pursue my passion i love this tarot readings i will give that time to tarot readings so i will feel happy i will feel content i will feel satisfied i will be happy <laughs> so in your case also instead of competing comparing someone and trying to do whatever they are do- doing do what you want to do and accept whatever you are see we we see lot of models lot of pub- public figures we see in movies also in in songs also pop songs we see they look very beautiful i love ariana grande it doesn't mean that i want to become like ariana grande everyone who different it is okay to see that i feast for i feast to see if at all you think that there is some things we can do it do it nothing wrong in that but you no need to compare with someone or compete with someone where you are like you are degrading yourself so it is no one is insulting you are insulting yourself when we comparing our, ourselves to someone means we are insulting ourselves so here you may be doing that come out of it okay strong fire of hands energy wheel of fortune is in your hand as i said if you want to compare from morning to evening you can do it you can live life like that if you want to change you can change and you can feel that treat your body like a palace it is we no need to be that zero size all the time as i always say when i eat ice creams i will gain weight see recently i got cold i got, i lost 4 to 5 kg weight i didn't i not even did uh, workouts and all still i lost my weight so it is we need to accept ourselves how we are we should feel confident enough within ourselves that is enough that the beautiful thing what one person can wear is that confident so f- treat yourself respect yourself more than treat it i am getting strong message like pile number 5 respect yourself don't try to compare yourself to someone to insult you be whatever you are no need to become that painter <laughs> okay have no need to become psychic yes everyone hold the, that painter also cannot become psychic like me they can paint they cannot read the tarot readings or they cannot predict accurately everyone hold different talents what we can do is we need to embrace our uniqueness what we are good at everyone hold that unique gifts unique si- skills abilities we need to embrace those things that's how we can become a better human beings are better version of ourselves uh, when we compare compete we don't become better it is like beating ourselves or insulting ourselves so uh, for you strong message pile number 5 even though it is a mysterious message that is the reason it is a mysterious like you are completely it is happening within yourself you may be not showing to the world that you are feeling insecure you are not showing world that you are competing with someone you are not showing some uh, other people that you are competing with someone but inside everything is happening that's why we got wheel of fortune 
it is not that other people are pushing you to compare other people are compelling insisting you to compete with someone it is in your hands what you want to do no need to impress anyone be the way you are whoever want you they will be in your life whoever they don't want they don't want let them go there are so many people okay file number 5 just be yourself so thank you for watching for more readings you can like and subscribe for personal readings you can mail me you will find the details in the description box